Alright, I definitely need somebody to please explain to me like I'm a two-year-old how State Farm's attorney can literally publish on court documents exactly these words. Client showed up wearing a blue suit with a loud tie and a bunch of jewelry and was very braggadocious. Now, from the naked eye looking in, anybody that happens to look like me, you tell me, what does that look like to you? And then you're going to sit back and with a straight face and tell me that you did not racially uh, 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 discriminate and profile me and use that as a reason to deny my legitimate business insurance claim and you claimed that I or my sister or somebody set up somebody to bust in our business at 6 o'clock in the morning and have the time to spray paint nigger on the wall and, and, and vandalize the property and somehow they knew that the police were going to arrive an hour late responding to the alarm systems. Once again, this was a scam and it was never brought out. It was never talked about because the last attorney that I had was a jackass and I believe he got paid off. His name was Zach De Silva's. I had fired him. I'm not going to go back before any courthouse with anybody else that cannot see what was done to me, my family, and my business. I am a public servant. I am a notary. I have done things for the community. I am a minister. I do not get in trouble, and I for sure don't get involved with crime. If I did, McNeils would not have hired me for seven years as their finance manager. So you got a lot of explaining to do of why you wrote this out. And don't you say it didn't have anything to do with your determination. Because if so, then why is it on the documents? I'm not an idiot. I didn't just wake up yesterday. You racially profiled me. And you used that as an excuse to deny my legitimate claim. Although for the last 20 years, I've dressed up exactly the same. You don't believe me? Go look at my photos. Ever since the dealership, I've worn the same suits. I don't wear a bunch of jewelry. I wear the same jewelry. One happens to be my wedding ring. The other happens to be a watch. And the other happens to be a bracelet. They didn't even see my necklace because it was under my dress, dress shirt. So... Because I had a watch, a ring, a bracelet, a power pink tie, solid pink tie with a blue suit with tan dress shoes. You wrote this as if I was a drug dealer. I'm not stupid, State Farm. Your time is up. You got enough money to make this right. I'm going to give you yet another chance because you just don't know how much evidence that I actually have that I was told to be quiet about because they told me that if I talked about the racial incidents, I would ruin my bad faith claim. My attorney told me that. So I've been allowing this crap to go on and I haven't said anything. No, you don't get to do that to a person like me. I've never been in trouble and you better believe you are going to pay for imposing to the public and my customers and my family and everybody else I'm connected to that I'm a criminal. You're going to pay for that. If you felt that way, where are the charges with the evidence that you have proof I had something to do with the break-in of my own business? If you don't have any charges or evidence, then why are you claiming this? And that was the reason you denied me. I'll see you in court, State Farm. It's not over. I want you to understand that this is the way I showed up for the court appearance. And this is exactly what I was wearing the day of the court appearance. Now, I want you to look at this appearance that I am in. And you tell me, what about this looks like it's a loud tie 
what about this says I have on a bunch of jewelry and because I'm confident, I'm braggadocious. No, this is called racial profiling and State Farm, you're going to pay for it. What about my agent who also happened to be six minutes walking distance from the building? who ignored me when I called him over and over the day that our store was broken in. He didn't even respond to me. I was forced to make the claim through the 1-800 department. And what did State Farm do? They notated that I was eager. So it looked like I was trying to force them to pay me unlawfully. Nobody. I've got all the evidence. State Farm... Oh, this has just begun.